Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is KPZ. You are here in the home of the slightly above average ship review and we are starting our way up the original German battleship tech tree line. Today we're doing a tech tree spotlight on the tier three Kaiser. The time of the recording of this video, the early access ships are not available. So hopefully for the remainder of this update, I can bring you one every week, but not making any promises because Wargaming has been doing some stuff, making people pay to start bureau projects that I don't really like. And it's the cash grabbiness of the current game is really turning me off. I'm not saying I'm quitting this game, but that's why I have another YouTube channel in the event that I do decide not to play this game anymore because I probably won't be posting videos on this channel at that point. I will do that on my other channel. Anyway, uh, we're here in the Koenig. The Koenig's a dreadnought type battleship. The ships that follow it are dreadnought type battleships until you get to tier six. Then it's a whole different animal. My understanding of the tech tree line is going to be more like tier five tier or tier six tier seven of this original original line rather than like these ships at all because they're all battle cruisers so maybe less heavily armored maybe less powerful guns in theory longer range secondaries based on what i've seen in the previews but that is neither here nor there what is the kaiser the kaiser is a slug it out kind of ship these german ships have pretty good armor I think they're meant to get in here and slug it out and you're going to see a pretty incredible game even though it is not as incredible as the tier 4 game that I'm going to bring you and certainly not as humorous as the tier 5 game I'm going to bring you but I guarantee you this match is going to go down to the very last salvo and yours truly will be on either end of that. So you definitely should watch as much of it as you can. I want to say about 70% of my viewers are not subscribed. I would appreciate your subscription. Uh, but again, uh, if I stop playing World of Warships Legends, then uh, I will probably stop putting up videos. So if Wargame keeps pissing me off, then uh, we'll have to make some tough decisions. All right, moving in on that ship to my bow to my starboard side. I believe that is a Wickes. I put my secondaries on, trying to engage him while ignoring the ship off my bow. I have the armor to do that. At this point, we're going to ignore the Wickes and turn our attention back to the ship directly in front of me, whose name I can't clearly make out. Anyway, we got lots of ships here to shoot at. That's the bottom line. Now this isn't as powerful as the Nassau in terms of its secondaries, but keep in mind it's the same theory. You've got pretty good armor, you've got good secondaries, you can take a fair amount of punishment. So put yourself in a position to utilize all that stuff and don't be scared, as the kids would say, or scare scared. Anyway, this uh, cruiser, I think it's a Phoenix, <coughs> we take him out with our secondary guns, close quarters expert. <clears throat> Pardon me, I think the allergies are kicking back in. And all of a sudden right now, I am feeling a tickle in my throat that was not there when I hit the record button on this audio. All right, we work in a base cap here, the ship in front of us a Wyoming uh, he's kind of hidden behind a rock so I'm gonna back and turn here hopefully try to engage him for our second kill aiming up into the superstructure oh we take him down to the very last bit oh you dirty kill pincher how dare you so no remember that remember that ship was pinched from yours truly. All right, Corbet over here is a longtime traditional enemy of Germany is France, I'm sure. So we're gonna shoot at that and see what happens. Pretty good salvo there. 
same tier ship on same tier ship. He, he has a damage saturated bow and stern apparently. So you just want to aim for the middle where it's not all burnt up looking. If you're unaware of all that stuff. Um, because any damage done to the damage uh, saturated sections will be reduced heavily. Anyway, he gets torped. Not saying that was as bad of a kill pinch as the Wyoming by any stretch of the imagination. Alright, so we can use a heal here, so we're going to do it. And is that a Nassau? It is a Nassau. Well, Nassau premium ship. I have a great video about the Nassau called Metal Collector. If I remember, I will try to put it at six minutes of this video. So you can go check that out. But I do have an Nassau video in the can for next week. Or you can just wait and watch the more recent video. Up to you. All right, so we're here in the Kaiser, we're here on Polar, we're here in this domination match. We got one kill, and uh, we are up by that one kill, I guess. The Langley is very boldly coming into view. I do not recommend this tactic by this aircraft carrier commander. Now, granted, we didn't really punish him there. Um, on these lower tier aircraft carriers, in my opinion, you want to aim to the rear half of the ship. That is where you can reliably get citadels. I was trying to do that, but I misestimated his speed. So here we're aiming a little bit farther back. And he looks like he was turning away, which is why those shells didn't do what I thought they should do. But no matter, we're going to turn a little bit that way. We want to stay in the cap here and continue to cap. We are cognizant. He has planes coming in. And we're also cognizant of the other ship over there. Readjusting our aim point. Salvo number three. And again, a bunch of overpens. Not great. Maybe with HE, you'd get a full value hit. Or maybe if he was angling towards you, or you were to an angle to him more. Um, but the sheer broadside means these are being reduced in damage. We do eat a torpedo there. Here we're going to aim up a little bit. And maybe that was all it took. Anyway, there is a hit to Citadel. As we shoot down one of his, uh, two of his airplanes and get the kill. So that's like a Gordy Howe hat trick. Right? Shot down an airplane, got a Citadel hit, and killed the aircraft carrier. Why not? All right, kill number two. Okay, Nassau over here. And we're going to fire at him. There are only three enemy ships left. And so we got the Nassau. We've got uh, another ship out there in the distance. Nassau not really giving us a great angle. So I'm going to try to renegotiate our heading here. And uh, clearly, that ship way over there, that is a Kaiser, an enemy Kaiser. We're just going to let him be for now. We got two ships over here, so we're kind of, you know, kind of up against it. Oh, look, I'm a dirty kill pincher. I'm trying to get the barrels around to shoot at the Kaiser. This will make up for the Wyoming, right? I thought this looked great. I don't know what happened here, but we just did not do the damage I was expecting. So I was hoping maybe my secondaries would finish them off, um, but the answer is no. Nope, he gets taken out by the Langley. All right, so now that we had that brief interlude, We've got uh, a Gangoot over here, and we've got the Nassau. Now, I know everybody is thinking Nassau very dangerous because of the secondaries, and I would agree with you. The Nassau has incredible secondaries. It is a very dangerous ship. However, -er, because of its gun arrangement, at some angles, he can only get two gun barrel or two turrets, four gun barrels, on the enemy ship. So if you stay in front of the bow of the Nassau and he is shooting at someone else, so we will shoot at him. We will unlock the high caliber. We will unlock the Confederate medal. 
our secondaries are going off. And I don't know what the NASA is doing, but he's not paying attention to me. And here I'm going to look in at his turrets and see they are all faced the other way. And I'm going to decide, well, let's shoot once more. But then we really can turn away from him. Actually, let's not even shoot at him because he's not even shooting at me. Our secondaries can shoot at each other. He can enjoy that. We got a broadside Gangu here. Let's see what we can do. Oh yeah, three hits to Citadel. Dev strike. Kill number three. All right, now remember that Wyoming kill that got kill pinched from us in the beginning of the match? Right now, we'd be going for that Kraken, folks. Now look at the amount of hit points that the Nassau has left. If I'm not mistaken, mistaken, each of those big segments is 5,000 hit points. So the Nassau has about 20,000 hit points left. We have 35, 37 hit points left. Oh wait, he's about to shoot at me. Okay, we have 1,161 hit points left and he still has somewhere around 20K. Watch us take him down in a matter of seconds. Here's that salvo aiming in front of that first turret. All of a sudden, it appears we're about even on hit points. And the last turret goes in, sayonara means goodbye. Arrivederici. I don't know what goodbye is in German. Auf Wiedersehen. All right, look at that, amazing. All right, anyway, we're gonna uh, get some milestones here. Here we are on the victory screen, my favorite screen. We got a high caliber medal, a devastating strike medal, a close quarters expert medal, the confederate medal, and the dreadnought medal. 128,199 uh, damage, shot down some planes, four kills, four hits to Citadel, seven cap defendants, one solo base cap, one assisted base cap. We ended up with 143, 201 silver and 2933 ship XP and commander XP in the Kaiser. There we are, top of the board, five medals, four kills, a dominating match for the Kaiser, especially when we closed it out against the Nassau. Coffee is for closers, ladies and gentlemen. And I think our commander deserves a big cup of Joe after that tremendous finish. All right, let's go back in the port, take a look at the ship. No, let's not start on the match. Let's take a look at the ship. All right, upgrades, just one. Main battery mod two, really need that in my opinion. Although your mileage may of course vary. And the Kaiser's fully upgraded. Taking a look at the loadout, three charges of the repair party and three charges of the enhanced secondary targeting consumable. We were not running any booster flags, as you can see down below. And for some inexplicable reason, there's no permanent camo, camo available for the Kaiser. Run that Type 2 temporary camo and the Tudor Strong flag. 46,400 hit points and a 22% torpedo damage reduction with our build. Main battery, you got five twin 305 millimeter turrets, 14.7 kilometer firing range, 25.7 second reload, 38.7 second turn time. HE shells, 3,500 damage with a 23% fire chance. The AP shells, 8,100 damage. Two sets of secondaries. The range of both is 5.3 kilometers. The first set of 4 by 288s reloads every 4 seconds. Does 1,000 HE shell damage with a 4% fire chance. The second set of 14 individual 150 millimeter guns Reloads every 8.6 seconds and does 3,700 AP shell damage. In theory, there's something significant about those 150 millimeter guns, but I can't remember it right now. AA defense is just enough to defend yourself as you saw. That first set of secondaries is dual purpose and does count as AA. Maneuverability, 23 knots, 600 meter turning circle, 14.9 second rudder shift time. And concealment, 12.5 in the surface, 10 from the air, 9.6 when firing in smoke. Remember, type 2 camo just increases incoming fire dispersion, and that's it. Here's the look at the armor viewer. You can see a dreadnought style armor scheme. It'll be a similar scheme to this all the way a bit, all the way up to tier 5. You've got a below water citadel, heavy plate on the front and rear of the ship. Put this bow back on. You do have a armor belt of some sort. 
thicker off the bow than it is at the bow. Uh, above and below that should be standard, I want to say, 19 millimeters. Yeah, look at that. Um, but again, this is pretty standard for these German ships through Tier 5. Pretty massive torpedo belt going up the side of the ship in theory. There's an armor belt on the inside, and it does provide some effect of spaced armor. Maybe. That's just a guess on my part. As you can see, the casemate increases that heavy armor plate all the way to the rear past the last turret, the uh, Y turret. And then, you know, this other armor on top just catches on fire. Uh, superstructure, we're oh, we're gonna take the casemate off, look at the turrets and barbettes. Not especially well armored, but again, they are covered by that heavy casemate armor. So I wouldn't especially be worried. Got this weird offset turret. So sometimes you gotta shoot through your own superstructure. Um, and so I wouldn't count on a five turret, uh, six turret broadside, pardon me. All right, here's Franz von Hipper, our commander. Base trait increased secondary range. We got D-Ravel and trench coat Haruna. Um, you know, what can I say? I want to win. I want max secondaries. I bought ARP Haruna. All right, uh, crisscross marksmanship. Reaching out XXL and of course will rebuild. The top row doesn't have a lot of options, so I just went with the fire extinguisher one. Anyway, that is the Koenig or Kaiser, pardon me. Hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, comment below.